The name I'm using is for my great grandfather, my grandmother's grandfather from Katsi. I am Kauchin and my mother was from Cooper Island and my grandmother was from Chehalis. So, um, and my grandfather and my grandfather and grandma on my dad's side was Kauachin and my grandmother was from West Saanich. So I got relations there. <coughs> my dad, uh, my dad and mom's side were all artists. That's where the interest is for me. And then uh, where it inspired me was when he, when I went to see him, I seen one of his tools, his um, carbon knife, I picked it up. He just looked at me, nodded, never said anything. And that was a silent inspiration message for me. I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Then my dad taught me a few other things when I was becoming of age, you know. I hardly knew my dad, but I was raised in Vancouver, eh? Musqueam, by my grandmother, so. As for me, I was, traditional with the grandparents, you know. I found that it is very in interesting for me. But to go into another world is pretty hard for me, you know. <laughs> you feel like you're in two worlds still or? Well, as of right now, when I learn to divide a couple, the two, two sides of the world, eh? My grandfathers. Both grandfathers? Both grandfathers. My grandfather over in Musqueam is the one at uh, Mass Carver. Mm -hmm. But my uh, grandpa over here, he was a canoe builder and totem pole builder. So it's within two sides, you know. And to combine them, I have to really be careful, you know. Um, because one voice is from here and the other voice is from here. But the only thing you can do is just pray hard to combine together. Well, uh, I used to do the little totem poles, uh, Thunderbird and Bear, you know, like uh, four inch to 12 inch, you know. I used to have contracts with like, um, used to be Woodward's in Vancouver, Hudson's Bay in Vancouver. Um, a uh, place called Lando's, used to be Lando's down in Vancouver. Um, Spence's Bridge, I used to have all contracts with the small little totem poles. And then my first one I tried was 1958, 12 footer. When I started bigging, uh, bigger totem poles, uh, I got one in Beijing, six footer. I think it's 12, 14 footer in uh, Hokkaido. Uh, 12, 14 footer in Albany, New York. Uh, they're all average about 12 footer, say. So, uh, Minnesota, Florida, uh, Texas, uh, Houston, Texas, Southern California, Los Angeles, I think. Uh, Arizona. Um, as well as uh, up and down the island, you know. Yeah, we I go see them, you know. Even uh, uh, not 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 way over there, but just locally, you know. And so um, I just go to the one seeing uh, Cedar Secondary School or Cedar Elementary School. There's a 16-footer tonopole there, so 
I go look at it. It brings all the memories here. Just I made that about 15, 20 years ago. And you look at it, it's still there, and the one that helped me is gone, you know. That's where the strong memories are, see. You look at it, you know, um, in your earth walk, you look at other people, and each, each human being in a community, symbolism is an animal, see. The way they act, the way they uh, house, no matter what family you are, there's always a symbolism of an animal. You look at the bear, you can notice the bear, you can tell by the, the wolf, you know. So there's spirits within us. We're looking at nine spirit animals within us. And that <coughs> every action that you do is on behalf of the animal. If you're a teacher, you're in a wolf clan. If you're <coughs> cautiously, you're a deer clan. If you're a busy body, then you're a beaver clan. If you got sharp eyes, thinking, eagle clan. So within every of us, any, any one of us in the community have the spirits. And it's only up to them if we can realize it and do it. You know, and when you start to carve, you should know the every symbolism of every animal. If you want to do the fish, you want to do the kill whale, they want to do the bear. I'm talking about carving and plaques. You think a bear. See with your feelings. You do an eagle, you think an eagle. This is the way I want it. No half-minded, no half-minded. And then, if you know how to do it, you know, if that vision comes in to work it together, there'd be no problem. And that's, and that's faith in what you're doing, see? That faith is always the number one thing that you, every, every, Every one of us in the community, you know, have. Without faith, would be, would be out, would be out lost, you know. And the only thing that keeps us there together is that voices that we hear from our grandparents, because it's always said the voice is a spirit from the soul, and you really watch it. And that's, that's what I carry. I mean, you know, the voices. You know, if we select a tree before then, if we have enough feathers to, we pray, follow it, leave it there. Supposing I do, I'm going to do it next year. We follow that thing. Feathers there. And it's not a matter of just leaving it there. No, we go there, check it all the time. Check it, check it. Let them know we did not let, just knock it down for nothing. But we visit and we'll grasp your feeling. Because the cedar, cedar draws so strong, strongly from each, each, each and every human being's soul takes it. That's what makes it life. As so you look at it now, it's still there. It all grasps the voice, grasps all the voices, especially in here, talking, it takes the voices. When you talk, you breathe, that's what it's taking, grasping, to keep alive. That's what the cedar is. So when they did find that one, they asked me to go up and see, look at it. So I went up there, we got the directions, we made it, we fluked it. We didn't, Right out in the, right in the bushes, we did, you know, we found it. So it's like a gift? It's like a gift, it drew us there, yeah. see. And when I seen that log that was laying there, wow. <laughs> to fall her, the hillside here, it's supposed to fall this way. But it turned right down to the 
right down to the road. So my guy told me, he says, you know, I tried to follow it this way, but I turned and come to the road. I says, we'll take this one. He says, you mean it? I says, yeah, we'll take it. It himself wanted to be, see? That's the most common for us to use. Um, as the years gone by, that's always been red cedar. Uh, yellow cedar is only good for small little articles, good for paddling, you know, yeah, good for mask making. I guess it's the intendency to crack real faster than red cedar. How old do you think that was? I think it was about 800, 2,000 years. Mm -hmm. And then <coughs> when they said carved on both sides, then I thought one side maybe I'll give her, I'll give the salmon on one side. And they said, you know, I talked to a few people about it. That's okay, you know, because that's us too, the salmon. So. It's because uh, it's because by the river, because by the sea, uh, our main source, that is main source, which is having a good healthy feed and every art. And then you go back into art, you always see salmon, you know, salmon plants sort of thing. We are, we are salmon people. Uh, I believe in it because the riverside, salt chuck, uh, regardless of its uh, summer to fall harvesting, or go down to salt chuck fishing. It's always the salmon. In honor of uh, in honor of their spirits, we pray to them too. So uh, this is going to be one story here. Eh? And we're going to need another space for another story at the three-story building. So this here will be the second floor. Okay. Another space here, five feet from here to here. This is where the frog is going to be. Five feet to here. We're going to have a salmon over here, facing up, facing up and facing down. Well, the you know, thunderbird, killer whale, and the frog, that's what they wanted, you know, the couch and emblem, you know, it's like uh, squawquaws. Uh, the story about that is uh, where the shaman, the medicine man, you know, was worried about for his people. It's because no salmon was coming up. So he was even warned about that, you know. That's when he turned, he prayed to the Creator, get all that strength. And little did he realize when he, he got the answer, the thunder come along. And he noticed he started to grow, 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 grow real big. What the power he asked for was an eagle. But when he looked in the water, he seen feathers like horns coming out like that. And that after that, that's where that, when that thunder came along, that's when he got that name, Thunderbird. I see. And the story was, you know, that's what they wanted, so I, I wrote the story about it. This is from my dad. So that's, he was the first one to do the couch and emblem for here. The, the killer whale, you know, I like what is found. He scooped it and he brought it over here to Saichelem, you know. That's where he dropped that killer whale. And did he, little did he know, he woke up that frog that was there. So that's why the Thunderbird killer whale and the frog. The symbolism of that is uh, the weather reporter, you know, 
If it croaks for a long time, it's going to be a long season. If it croaks for short, it's going to be short summer season. See? Because a lot of springtime or springtime you hear them croaking. And early in the morning or late at night you hear them croaking. And if it's going to croak for a long time, it's going to be a long hot summer. No, they're, they're all equivalent to me. They're all equivalent to me, it's like, you know, the raven, uh, eagle, the thunderbird, bear, they're all equivalent to me. And uh, I was told, you know, never choose one per one certain thing, because you've got nine animal totems within you. So you work all that. Because there's one animal totem that's in front of you, one animal totem behind you left and right, see, and there's, uh, I forget the other ones, but you have dreams about all of them, it's not a matter of getting scared, but accepting, it's only helping you, uh, in a pro uh, appropriate way, in a prosperous way to, you know, walk Mother Earth. In the near future, that we're going to be gone. We're going to be, <coughs> we're going to be down here too. Because when we're, you know, like I say, when we're, when we're finished on Mother Earth, we go to Father Sky. Father Sky sends us down to what? As an animal, as a bird, a salmon, you know, bear. The cycle. Things. That's why we honor every living animal, once a human being. And that's why I say the nine lives that we have, we're only on borrowed life from that animal. <laughs>